Okay, guys, so this can be kind of weird because for the next few weeks I'm locked in this little tiny, uh, it's like a little hotel room, timeshare, mini apartment, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so I'm going to show you exactly what uh, the kitchen I have for probably the next, I don't know, two, three weeks. Who knows? I have no idea, but I can't wait to show you the new kitchen, my new home. I'm going to give you a walk through. You guys are going to see the whole thing. It's absolutely a dream house. But in the meantime, I have to suffer in this little cookie box uh, they call a uh, timeshare. So, you ready to see this kitchen? Uh, it's kind of, uh, kind of embarrassing, but we're going to make the best of it. Okay, that's it. It goes from there to there. Look how small that little dishwasher is and the stove. It's a mini, it's kind of a kitchenette. This is all I got, guys. So I've got to make the best of it. Now, doesn't mean I didn't, I didn't go to the store and pack this with food. There's plenty of food in here, and I got some videos planned. Been talking to some people here at the timeshare. Met a Jamaican guy who's going to show us some jerk chicken, uh, hopefully before I leave. A uh, Louisiana girl's going to show us how to make um, some either jambalaya or gumbo or something good. Anyway, but for right now, we're doing a product review, and all I need is that microwave and that pound of bacon right there, and then uh, what else? What else we got? Where did we put that? Where did we put that? Oh yeah, huh, my spare, my food pantry. There we go. And yeah, pull it out. Ugh. Come on. Yeah, you guys are probably looking at everything else in there, going, "Hey, what's that? Hey, what do you got in there?" <clears throat> All right, there it is. It's the bacon wave. You can cook uh, 14 pieces of bacon at one time. That's right, right in the microwave. So here we go. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna pull it open, I'll show you. Fairly simple design. Put the plastic open. I don't even know why you need a cookbook or a instruction manual, whatever, but they have one. Okay, there's a little instruction manual. We don't need that. Oh, what is this? Huh, maybe we do need instruction manual because I don't know what these things are for. But I know you can poke them right through. There you go. Ah, huh, chopsticks. Okay, so let's find out what these are for. Okay, I got extra thick bacon I'm using as an example. We're gonna put it like, wow, that's awfully long pieces. I guess they want, they want it all contained. So we're going to bend it in a little bit. Okay, like that, so that all the bacon's contained you have to wiggle it. Goes in here, slot number two, and push our bacon back that way. Make sure we don't have any bacon hanging over. This is kind of weird. This is the average length bacon, so you might want to cut it in half and try this with it cut in half. I don't know. Me personally, I'm following their directions. Okay, put it in slot number three. Here we go, slot number three, push that all back. So I can cook all together. Okay, it's a mess. My pieces are too long, but this is what it says to take the full slices and to buckle them if they go too long. So now we're gonna take the skewer, we're gonna go through each piece. Go through that one. I didn't use all the slots because I don't have that many pieces in my pack. This might help, so let's skewer it. Skewer it. There we go. Bring this one up. This is a lot of work for, to cook some bacon. I normally just throw it right in the pan all the way through. They're all skewered now. Now let's go to the other side. Do the same on this side. Okay, I'm gonna make sure all the bacon, now take your fingers, tuck your bacon all the way in. Anything hanging over, you want the grease to stay in the pan. Now I can't give you a cooking time on this, but I am just gonna cook it to where I like my bacon. I like my bacon crispy. I'm gonna try and get as crispy as possible. All right, let's take a look here. Let's take a look, see what it looks like. I think it, uh, wow. It straightened up nicely, look at that. I'm very impressed. Okay, now I'm really shocked. All those, all that extra bacon just pulled in tight. The skewers held it in place. Look how lined up it is. You saw what a mess it was when I started. All right, I'm gonna bring this out, let's let it cool. Yeah, you could hear popping and cracking and everything, but look how nice. They kind of separated nicely and straightened out nicely and 
Okay, yeah. Can you tell I'm a little surprised? Yeah. All right, so let's get these on the plate. Okay, I want to pour the grease in here and find out how much grease there was before I take the bacon out. So here we go. Wow. That's a lot. Look at that. All that grease is not on my bacon. Okay, it took a little bit of work. Lining them up. Spearing them through with the skewers. There you go. Perfect. Beautiful slices of bacon. All cooked. The outside one's got a little crispier. Just how I like it. And there it is. Mmm. Bacon. Ah. Oh. Sorry. I didn't hear recording. Okay. So, back to the product review. They're perfectly flat. Let's take this one. I like the crispy one. Look at this. Look. Absolutely perfect. Not too greasy. All the grease is out. Bacon's awesome. Nothing wrong with this. If you don't mind putting the work in, just straighten them out and put the skewer through it, you're going to get flawless bacon. This was a major success. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.